Welcome back everybody, it's Chad from The Right Line. Chewy's home and I thought I'd go over his recent upgrades. So today I'm working on the Overland trailer for the coming up Chandler Tumbleweed Light Parade and this is all you get to see. If you're local in the area and you want to see how the Overland trailer looks, well, you're going to have to come to the parade on December 7th. Alright, coming down under Chewy, and the first thing that stands out are these really nice aluminum links here. These are the RPM steering flip kit over the top of the knuckle drag link aluminum steering with the uh, clamp for the steering stabilizer underneath. I didn't bother to change the steering stabilizer. Next on the list is the Evo Manufacturing ProTech Truss System or kit. Comes with that optional raised track bar bracket right over there. If you're keeping the factory um, steering, you don't put that on, but if you're going to do a flip kit, you have to put that raised track bar bracket on because that way you can keep the track bar and the drag link in good geometry. The nice thing about this truss is it doesn't weld to the center differential. Instead, it welds here and over here. This is a bridge that goes over the top. Also included in that truss or that front axle ProTec kit are the sea gussets. And the lower control arm skid plates right there. The other thing I went with on the diffs are the heavy duty Terraflex differential cover. What I really like about this differential cover, not only because it's heavy duty, but also because it includes the high pinion fill hole. Um, I don't, can't tell you how many times with a low pinion fill hole, uh, I end up having to jack the axle up or raise the vehicle to finish getting that last little bit of oil into a lifted Jeep. Coming under the back, this Synergy uh, weld on truss was gifted to me by a very close friend of mine. Thank you very much, Glenn. You can see that's gone to good use. It managed to fit right around the uh, Terraflex rear uh, track bar bracket, and it's only welded to the differential to, or to the axle tubes, not the differential uh, center diff itself. And then also went with the Terraflex heavy duty diff cover in the back as well. Lastly, I've been sitting on these guys in a pile in the garage for quite some time. I've now got my 35 inch tires mounted. These are General Grabber X3s. I did have to install a one and a half inch wheel spacer back there because with the aluminum steering, and the factory wheels, they don't play well together without it. Now those tires I picked up from Nina Barlow in Sedona, Arizona, every so often if you're paying attention, you might find her liquidating some of her uh, spare parts and tires, so keep an eye out. All of this has been a long time coming for Chewy. I've had him about two years-ish, and now he's looking about where I really wanted him to be. Okay, so what's next for Chewy, you might say? Well, next up, I'm gonna trim the front fender flares to match the width of the rear fender flares. I really hate this big bulbous fender flare in the front, so that's gonna come up. I'm gonna actually trim, I'm not gonna trim the width of the back, but I'm gonna trim off the face of the back, and then I'm gonna match the front width to the rear width. Now, I could not mount spare tire onto the back of Chewy because it still has the factory uh, tire carrier in the back on the tailgate. And what I had thought of doing was to build my own swingway tire carrier like I did with the Grand Cherokee that I had, but I really didn't want to go that route. Uh, so instead what I've done to stick with the uh, Smittybilt bumper uh, in the back, I actually bought their heavy duty hinge kit and that actually replaces the Jeep hinges here and here comes out over to there and supports the tailgate so that the tailgate opens with the tire which is a single pull right here. All right, 
And now in this video, you notice I included uh, prices on the stuff that I ordered for Chewy's. I had a couple comments about how people wanted to kind of know overall what this um, what this cost. You should know I've been sitting on parts for quite some time. It wasn't like I just bought all this stuff at once. And with the exception of the steering that I got at Let's Roll here in Mesa, everything else that I bought for Chewy, I bought at Northridge 4x4. And you can use a promo code on the Northridge site, Lightbright, and they can get you up to 20% off on some items. Okay, so what's coming up for the right line, you might ask? Okay, well, we have the Christmas Parade on December the 7th. That's the Chandler Tumbleweed Light Parade. And if you're local and you want to check it out, hopefully you'll come and see uh, our group. We've got a little bit of a trail run next weekend on the 30th uh, to memorialize uh, somebody great in the local area that we lost tragically um, who worked with the Tunnel Recreation Alliance. Kevin, if you know who he is, and if you've met him, you know how much of a trail encyclopedia and hell of a nice guy he was. I'll be creating some content on some more projects that are coming up with Chewy, the fender cutting and the Smittybilt heavy duty uh, tailgate hinge kit. Those videos will be coming up soon. And now, of course, since I've got the 35s on Chewy, we're gonna head out and hit some more trails coming up. If you wanna know anything about Let's Roll, you can look them up online. They're also on Facebook, Let's Roll Off-Road there in Mesa, Arizona. One of my goals for 2019 was to reach 1,000 subscribers for my YouTube channel. Right now, we're up to 700. And 78 we've got a little bit of time left so hopefully you'll consider a subscription if you're new to the channel please consider a like comment or share and I'll see you again next time